Partying and loud music leading to safety concerns tonight in Mariahville. Camp Bisco was officially underway now and attracting fans from all across the country. And neighbors are on edge given the music event's sketchy history of drinking, drugs, and even an overdose death. Craig Smith visited Camp Bisco and surrounding areas tonight. Craig, what's happening out there tonight? Well, it's a party that's going on into the evening, Greg. It's really just getting revved up this hour of the night. It's an event that means five days of music and love, or noise and nuisance, depending on your perspective. Some of the young people spoke on camera tonight. Others didn't want to be seen. The name Camp Bisco comes from the Philadelphia band that started it all 12 years ago, the Disco Biscuits. You having fun so far? Oh, having the best time of my life. Have you seen any trouble spots? No, not really. The ground's kind of wet. Are, are you a veteran here? No, first time. What made you want to come this year? I mean, you must have heard about it before. Just turned 18. One young trio from New Jersey shied away from the camera, saying they wouldn't want their parents to see them in an atmosphere they described as sketchy. Property owner Frank Potter sees it another way. He works with the promoter, says he thinks of the crowd as his kids. Now we're out trying to pick up the streets, pick up the roads, garbage. Um, you know, and uh, hopefully mend some fences, so to speak. Two years ago, on Bisco's 10th anniversary, traffic and some concert goers made a mess of Mariahville. Last year, the sheriff's office set up a checkpoint to weed out some of the drugs and drunken drivers. Bring it back, bring it back, <laughs> Potter says anyone found with drugs gets ejected and admits his people won't catch it all. Opening the gates earlier has helped to lessen but not eliminate the traffic problem. I tried to get out at 6.30 this morning. It took me almost 15 minutes to get out of the house. It'll be a good event. In a couple days, it's over. I bother people approximately 12 days a year. The rest of the time, no one knows I exist. Potter said he offered to hire sheriff's deputies for security. The sheriff says that isn't going to happen. Uh, tomorrow night we, we have the uh, July 4th uh, fireworks that are rescheduled. We're not going to be able to staff that, um, you know, because we're up here. So, you know, this, this certainly taxes our resources. And the sheriff says he doesn't have enough deputies to have them work security at this event. Potter says he has a doctor on standby now and at least two ambulances. The way he put it to me is he has an extra ambulance this year. This show generates at least $2.4 million in ticket sales. That's if the 12,000 ticket holders the permit allows hold a $200 three-day general admission ticket. Those are sold out now, but Saturday-only tickets are still available at $90. And in years past, it's been estimated as many as 20,000 go to this show. Craig Smith, CBS 6 News.